Okay, hello everybody, and welcome back to the channel. It is November 10th, 2022, two days after the predicted fall of democracy. I am happy to report that democracy is still alive, unlike Mr. DeLuca in Pennsylvania, a dead man who somehow won re election. And yes, democracy did not take the predicted dirt nap. And guess what? I, as one of those, uh, what is it, what does the leftists like to call us? People of color. I managed to go to the BMV and get an ID and go vote. Now don't tell anybody because they think we're incapable of doing this. We don't know how to get our IDs and we can't find the polling spot, so but don't, don't let it out, people. And then we move on to this new thing that we, has everybody bickering and arguing about the Trump DeSantis thing. Isn't it a little bit too early to start this damn fight? Let it go through the primary, okay? Because, yes, DeSantis won handily in Florida, which he should have. He was the best candidate for that spot. And he, he has a proven track record down there with handling that state. And routing out the wokeness and stuff like unlike a lot of these Republican governors like where I live in Indiana I wish this clown would go he might as well just be a leftist but we're starting this bickering already and they're saying well DeSantis should run for president 2024 and well maybe he should I don't know I mean I think he's a little bit uh, untested yet to see, because I think he has far too many establishment backers for me, but well, that'll work itself out, we'll find out, and, but the thing with DeSantis, if you think for one second that the media is not going to do the exact same thing to DeSantis as they did to Trump, you got another thing coming, see, that that is where DeSantis is untested yet, he really hasn't tasted the full impact of what this national media can actually do to somebody. Yeah, they rib them a little bit here and there and then get on them about the fiasco that happened at Disney and, and and ride his ass a little bit about him trying to get all the CRT and the wokeness out of the public schools, but he has not anywhere near felt the full force of what this media and these social media platforms can do to him, unlike Trump, who has been through that already, and it's been proven that he can hold himself together and uh, help repel, you know, these evil people that that are trying to sway the vote the other way. And stuff. So he, he's already proven that. DeSantis, I don't know if he decides to enter the primary. Now he's may get a little bit more taste of it but but I'm telling you that DeSantis just like every other human being he's not squeaky clean all right the media is gonna f dig up stuff that he has even forgot about and just like they did with Trump about when they brought that sub uh, grab him by the pussy tape and that got a lot of people this day and age the uh, in an uproar, and I don't know what the hell that was about, other than people were a little bit more soft than they used to be. I think everybody, every boy, at least when I was growing up, and I'm not that damn old, would talk like that. And especially in the entertainment business, I mean, that when when that tape come out, I turned to my wife at the time, and I'm like, "This is more of an indictment on the entertainment industry than it is on Trump." But you know how the media is; they start spinning it whichever way they want to. And it, but he got through it and went right off his back, and he, he worked his way through it. Now, if something like that were to come out on DeSantis, which I don't know, may or may, to me it's entirely possible because a lot of guys talk like that. I'm sure, sure somewhere at a party, in private, somewhere, there is a tape sitting out there floating around where he said some crap like that. So, 
but he's not prepared for it. I don't know whether he can stand up to the full onslaught of the corporate media as well as the, the tech giants and stuff and is yet to be seen. But I am just happy to report that democracy in our country is still alive. And with that, I will see you on the next one. Bye.